Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Carolyn and this video is going to be a Shop My Stash video. I know in my last Shop My Stash video I said I wasn't going to be doing any more Shop My Stashes because I don't really have like a huge collection or I felt like a collection that was conducive for Shop My Stashes. But um, a lot of you commented and kind of said that it didn't really matter to you but I should do what I wanted to do. and. Michelle from Great Blends, great with an eight. I'll link her channel below. She mentioned doing a shot my stash with eyeshadow palettes. So I, I was already kind of thinking about doing that. So that's kind of what this is. I will be showing my complexion drawer and probably moving some things around, but for the most part, everything still stays in the complexion drawer and I will I have like a section of of the makeup I use and then in the back I put products that I'm not using so I'll, I'll show you that and then it'll be like a shot my stash for eyeshadow palettes last time I pulled out way too many eyeshadow palettes for November I pulled 18 so this month I am pulling I'm gonna try to pull around seven because I did a little bit of Black Friday shopping so I'm expecting some new palettes and I want to be able to use those. My goal is to just rotate through my eyeshadow palette collection and this is how I do it is with the Shot My Stashes. So I just try to use each eyeshadow palette that I pull at least once. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog. She's kind of loud so you probably hear her. But anyway, I don't shop my stash for lip products because... I just match what lip color I want to wear to the eyeshadow look that I'm wearing. My eyeshadow look is always kind of like the focal point of my looks. The final thing I'm going to mention before we get into the video is I got a new phone, which means it's like the phone is what I film on. And I'm still adjusting to it and the lens is in a different spot than where it was before so I'm trying to make sure I'm looking in the lens and not where I was before and um, it's also a little bit it's just a little bit different so if things are slightly out of frame or anything like that I'm really sorry I'm still adjusting to this phone so anyway without further ado if this shot my stash video sounds interesting to you then just keep on watching <music> Okay, so real quick, I'm just going to show you my complexion, everyday complexion drawer. I want to keep all of my cream products in my shop, my stash, and use them frequently because they're the ones that are going to go bad quicker than powder products. And I do use all of these fairly frequently. And these are my powder face products. This is a highlighter palette. This is a blush palette. And then I have products back here that I'm not using. These are packaging that I want to keep, like um, this ColourPop Disney, uh, this is Beauty and the Beast from their Disney collection. And I felt like the Super Shock Shadow is a bit boring, <laughs> this color, but I got it for the packaging. And so I keep that in here. At some point, I'll find a different spot for it, but right now it's just back here. And this is the same kind of thing. So I, I'm i using this liquid lipstick. And when I'm done with it, I'm just going to put it back in here and then still hold on to the packaging. And then there's also just some things I'm not using right now, like this pink highlighter. Although I think I'm going to put this in for because I was saving it for the winter time. So I'm going to put that in. And then this is a Milani mini blush in the shade Luminoso. It's basically the size of an eyeshadow. It's so cute. I think I'll put this in as well. And then this I'm going to save for springtime. But this is a Wet n Wild blush in the shade Pearlescent Pink. And I think I actually will pull this in. So I'm going to... Pull this in and I'm going to take out this Rose de Oro blush. This is a really 
pretty blush, but it's one I'm going to probably use more. And, like, it was good for the fall and summer. It's kind of bronzy. And with these other blushes that I have in, I think I'm just going to put that away for now. And then here I just have, uh, these are my only um, base products that I have right now. But I do have some some room for more. Oh, and I do have these powders that I keep on top of my vanity because they're kind of a mess. They're broken. <laughs> so I keep these on top of my, my vanity. So I have those. But I just have the Maybelline Femme Concealer and the Tinted Hydrator. And then this is a... Um, this, the, the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator, and then this is the Hard Candy Gripping Primer. This is new to me. I don't quite know how I feel about it. I think I like it, but I had the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer before this, and I think it worked better with this. So I may get that primer again. These are the same Maybelline Fit Me and the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator in more of like my summer shade. So I just keep these back here. So that is my complexion drawer. Here is my first display shelf. I don't think I'm going to pick anything out from here. Um, this palette is retired, by the way. I don't use this, but I just keep it for the packaging. But anyway, I'm not going to pull anything from here. And this is my other display shelf. And I am going to pull this one. And I think I'm going to pull this one. That's new to me. And this one is also new to me. So now I'm going to go to the drawer and pick out a couple of palettes from there. And before we did that, I did just want to show real quick the palettes that I pulled from up from my display shelves. This is Star Wars palette from ColourPop. This is the C3PO palette from ColourPop. And this is the Odin's Eye and Angelica Nikfist palette palette. Okay, so I'm going to pull four more palettes. This is one I want to pull for December. I feel like I've had this in like my last three Shop My stash Stashes, I think, but I still feel like I haven't gotten to use it enough, so I'm going to pull this in. I did. I do want to pull this in because this is one uh, on the chopping block and at some point, either at the end of this year or the beginning of next year, I'm going to do an uh, eyeshadow palette collection and declutter. It'll be a small declutter, but this is one I'm considering decluttering. The formula on this is, and by the way, this is the Revolution Chilled Palette. I didn't say that, but this is a Revolution Shield palette. The formula on this is, uh, I used it just once, but I didn't like it. <laughs> I felt like the mattes, the mattes were not good. So it has three pressed glitters, these three, and I'm not using those. Like I'm just kind of ignoring them, but the shimmer formula is just okay. It's somewhat good, but not the, not anything revolutionary. It's just okay. The matte formula, though, is, in my experience, it was just, like, pretty bad. But, yeah, I just wanted to use it to see if this is something I want to declutter when I do my, my declutter. And it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna be a small declutter, probably just, like, a couple palettes. So, it'll be mostly to show my eyeshadow palette collection. I also wanted to pull in my Natasha Denona Love palette. And then I'm also going to pull my Odin's Eye Verdandi palette. That's what this looks like. So these are all the eyeshadow palettes that I pulled. I did pull seven. And I'll probably I will be using any new palettes that come in just to try them out. 
And I did forget that I wanted to pull this in. This is the Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson Tiny Marvels palette. Um, the, I you have this always sitting on my vanity, so I forgot the, to pull it in because I use this shade and this shade for my eyebrows every day. But I did want to pull this in for December, so I'm pulling that in as well. So that that's eight palettes that I'm going to be pulling in this month. So that was my shop, my stash for December. I did want to mention that I just write my palettes down here and then tally them up and that's how I keep track because I do just put them away where they go in my vanity and on the display shelves. In case you're wondering about that, that's, that's how I do it. So anyway, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you have not subscribed and I will see you in the next video.